Once again, I'm going to try to make a double stake dirt hole set. You can see I've already got my extra dirt. Pretty much the same scenario every time. File my dog, clear the wax from it. There and there and on the tip. Everything needs to be good and square so that it triggers properly. Get my insulation under the pan. Try to do everything that I can before I get on my knees. It's easier on my back. All right, got my spot cleared out. This time I'm gonna use the grass and the log for backing. Kind of guide something in maybe. These traps have are 175, but I've replaced the springs on them with number two springs. Helps them to come through the dirt a little bit better and frozen ground if it tries to freeze on me. Again, I want the pan level or just a little below and pretty much a pretty light trigger. Depends on what you're after, how you set your trigger. Coats are fairly heavy, but a little fox can be eight pounds. And if that's the case, then you end up with about two pounds on the foot. Set pressure to set off the pan. If you set it too hard, you won't catch the fox. If you're trying to avoid fox, you can set it harder so you can catch your coyotes and not the fox. Bobcats are pretty light footed too. There we go, about eight inches. All right. I'm gonna want my trap to set back about eight inches. So it's gonna be about right there. So that means I, wanna, I don't wanna dig out any more than I have to. Mostly because it, that way everything stays good and firm. Sometimes you can just about take a plug out. Sometimes you can't. Too bad. Might be just a little high yet. Drop it down a little bit with the, dropping the springs down a little levers. Alright. Once again I'm gonna put one stake straight down under the free jaw to support it. Doubt if that trap's gonna go in or stake's gonna go any deeper. Yeah, it is. One will probably do it though. Okay. Again, I'm going to use my loops. You can just drive the stake straight through the swivel if you want to. But I normally don't know if I'm going to have to have two, two stakes and cross stake it or not, so I use this method. I 
I've shown people this method. They've tried it and hated it because aircraft cable can be such a bite to deal with sometimes. It has a mind of its own. It wants to stick up and be real springy under your trap if you don't watch it. I'll make sure I don't get too deep because I want to use the loose jaw. The stake for the loose jaw and that looks just about right. All right. Digger, the hole, deeper you dig your hole, the more dirt you're gonna have to move in and pack. And so it's best if you can just barely get it under below the surface of the surrounding area. under your levers from the side down the bottom from the inside of your trap you really want to pack everything really well see how we're done see we're starting to get there already a little movement there hold this one down pack under that one a little bit more hold that one down pack under this one a little bit more showing some boy scouts how to do this one time after I took a fox out of it I, I called them before I took the fox out they were up at the campsite and I brought them back they all stood around watching me do this and they were pretty intense watching me and I got right down to the very end and did some of that and sprung the trap on purpose and they all jumped like crazy. <laughs> it's kind of humorous. Okay. It's all pretty heavy. It's going to be cold. May rain a little, may snow a little. Feel those jaws. If you can feel the jaws, they can feel them. Pack a little on one side, how you cap. Pack a little on the other side, pack in the front. Then you can get pretty, pretty serious with it. There's a jaw sticking up right there, and I can feel that one. A little more dirt. Nothing's moving. That's good. comes up you just have to pack it back down you don't want your pan to be too deep dirt cushions their step pretty heavy all right a little pack over the top I can 
spread out some of this dirt a little bit. make your sets completely invisible if you want to. Uh, helps to leave a little bit of side attractor though, so that's what we'll do. Time for the lure. put the lid over the top of my trap keep from getting any lure on my trap in case I should spill it not sure what that lure is been around a long time. Lid's gone on it. I just need to use it up. I think it's pro's choice. Right. I think I'll opt not to use any of my other bait. And this time I'll just use urine. my lure. Alright. That should do it. And fairly obvious set. Hope they'll walk right in. I'm at the other edge of the field in a little road that comes out of the field. There's one of our deer stands. And there's the set. We'll see how it does tomorrow.